Hi there, good morning. This is Tangier. It is a Sunday, a church here. You do not see a lot of churches in Morocco, but we are very close to Europe, to Spain. The Spanish were here. The Strait of Gibraltar, right here. The connecting point between Europe and Africa. Hola! And the Mediterranean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean. Just a uh, less than 10 mile space between Spain, or rather the uh, overseas British territory of Gibraltar, and Morocco here. Ferries go across in less than like 30 minutes or so when they are running. I believe that they are not running between Tangier and uh, Gibraltar or Spain at the moment because of COVID. But Tangier and the Strait of Gibraltar is an extremely strategic point for uh, controlling shipping between the Atlantic and the Mediterranean. And so the uh, history here is very, very deep, going back to around 1000 BC. The Phoenicians and many different civilizations have been here at various uh, times. But uh, now, Tangier is a super modern city. So I'm going to uh, walk over to a major street and uh, start off this video showing more of the modern side of Morocco because I have shown lots of Medinas, old cities, old uh, fort walls and uh, crumbling buildings and convoluted mazes of the uh, lanes in the Medinas, which I will also be showing in this video. I'm looking forward to seeing the uh, Medina of Tangier, but uh, first let's show more of the high-tech modern side of the city. And so this is a major street lined with lots of restaurants. So Morocco is of course a Muslim country and the Muslim holy day is Friday. However, Moroccans apparently uh, observe the Western weekend as well, Saturday and Sunday. So today is Sunday and it is definitely a lot quieter than yesterday, especially last night, Saturday night, when this street was just totally jam-packed happening. Lots of young people out and about, people sitting on the uh, street side, restaurants having dinner, and uh, this uh, square had like skateboarders and a lot going on. So a, a mellower day to explore the city, but a beautiful one here in mid-November. Got a bit of a history here, some old cannons. 1275, I wonder if that is referring to a year, probably not. Whoa, we got a Star of David, or no. That is a eight-pointed star. Okay. Another date, maybe? Can't quite tell, 1726. Nice, uh emblem or whatever you call this, Hispaniar. So there you go. Evidence of the Spanish presence here in Tangier. Sevilla. Año. And then that's just hard to make out what number that's supposed to be there, but uh, 1726 is what it's looking like there. Here we go. Yes, that's better. 1780. 7th of July. Rabat, the capital of Morocco. I will probably be going through there later. Tetuan, I was there yesterday. Really interesting city on the Mediterranean. Also, there is the Spanish enclave of, I'm not sure how to say it, Ceuta, which I would absolutely love to visit. It is about an hour away. It is a part of Spain here on the African continent, surrounded by Morocco and on the Mediterranean Sea, so it's fully Spanish, but there is a border control, and I believe that it is closed 
now also because of COVID. All right, let's uh, get across the uh, street here and go over to the, I'm not sure if I should say sea or ocean, Mediterranean or Atlantic, but the water is a uh, short walk away and there's a beautiful walkway and a nice beach. And notice the Spanish, Supermercado. Alimentation General. Spanish, French, and Arabic all spoken commonly here. Not as much English. And look at that. We got water. And out there I can see old fort walls. The Medina and the Casbah. A lovely waterfront walkway here and an amazing beach. So Tangier kind of has it all. The old, the new, nice restaurants and ancient history. Look at that water, a nice color of blue. So you can see it's an amazing bay and a big beautiful beach that just wraps all the way around out there. The uh, modern buildings of the city stretching along the coast here. So yesterday I went to a uh, restaurant right over down the uh, street here. Got a huge plate of food, this really delicious chicken with mushrooms and then Really good, uh, like, sautéed vegetables, french fries. The uh, entire meal was 60 durham, which is like $6.50. And then a uh, bottle of water. But I don't want to spend too much time in the uh, modern area. There is a reason why I tend to focus on the older parts, because I find it a lot more interesting. This is kind of the usual big buildings and uh, chain restaurants. Odessa Cafe, Odessa, Ukraine. Interesting. But the Medina of Tangier looks like it's going to be really interesting. Let's get over there. Avenue Mohammed VI. Mohammed VI is the current king of Morocco since 1999. Getting a closer look at the fort walls. But uh, up the street up that way is the Casbah. It is a museum in a former sultan's palace with uh, various artifacts of history of Morocco. And also that is the uh, way into the Medina. It's a Spanish area. Yes, I understand. You from where? I'm not looking for a guide right now. I'm not a guide. I work in the hotel Hilton. I'm not a guide. Hey, I'm good man. I guess uh, this is where the hustling begins. I hadn't been bothered the entire time uh, yesterday or earlier today walking around the uh, more modern part of the city, but uh, once you get into the Medina, then the guides and whatnot come out. Now, going to get into the Medina, and I want to uh, go find the uh, Riyadh. Salam, salam. I was going to stay at a Riyadh in the Medina last night. I was looking on Booking.com while uh, sitting in the taxi coming from Tetuan, and there was a really nice sounding Riyadh, which is a Moroccan traditional guest house. But I ended up staying at the uh, place where I am now because it was cheaper and also 
the uh, Riyadh apparently is a little noisy. There were various uh, comments. Okay, that's not the way. Or is it? Doesn't seem like the uh, entrance into the Medina. Well, I guess it is. It's Medina? Okay, yeah. Very cool. Getting into the very cute little lanes. So I'm going to try to find this uh, Riyadh and uh, go check it out, see what I missed because it sounded really beautiful. But some of the comments had said it was kind of noisy because of the uh, courtyard that all of the rooms are centered around. getting busier. This is a good sign. Wow, okay, I just came in like a, a random side route. But I think it's down this way. Here it is. Palace Zahia. Wow, look at that entrance. It was about $80 a night, which is very reasonable for this. Wow. All right. Okay, we're gonna get a look inside one of the rooms. And the tour, there's a view also nice view. Oh yeah, definitely, I'll get that view. Oh man, this is so nice. I should have stayed here. <laughs> nice uh, view of the Medina. Oh yeah, next time for sure. Do you know uh, offhand how much this room goes for normally, or one sixty euros? Euros, okay. Yeah, one hundred sixty euros. Okay. Yeah. Do you know how old the building is? The building was the first bank of Morocco in oh. 1907. I see. Yeah, and it uh, used to be hotel like since four years now. Yeah. Only for four last, years? Yeah, last of uh, 2017. And before that it was a bank or it was something else? It was a bank until like the 60s, something like this, and after it, it used to be like a bazaar. Like a marketplace, kind of on each level with different uh, shops or something. Yeah, it's like a bazaar. You know, okay. Bazaar, but, uh, and uh, yeah, and like after six, seven years of working and fixing everything, yeah, and it's renovated. I see. Wow. So it's it's all new, but like a traditional style, I guess. Yeah, everything like by hand. Yeah, hand left. Yeah. And everything you see the wood, 
the, yeah, even look at the ceilings even are just exquisite. Look at this chandelier and incredible. Very nice. Yeah, and also like for the mosaic of a thing with see this little like a handle. If you can see something like for co uh, like coexistence, it's more like some uh, Jewish, like Muslims, Christians, and yeah, it's place for yeah coexistence. If you can see some like for so, like the artwork is from different uh, religions and this cultures. Is, no, this is the art this is from like from Fez. It's the origin of Andalus. You know, it's from Fez. Oh, okay, yeah, of Fez. Yeah. And so, what is the, is this a Moroccan star? The eight pointed. I've been so, seeing this one. Yeah, it's, oh yeah, it's on all star. They use it. They use it. It's like. It's if you go to every like single place that they do the, the traditional music, traditional style, you always find this. this uh, so do you know if it's more Arabic or Berber or? No idea. Not no, sure. Okay, it's, it's just yeah, it's, throughout the region, it's a popular yeah, symbol. For me, I don't have idea. Maybe if you can like search, you can. Like, yeah, if I look online, images, I'm sure I can yeah, find. Uh, this, yeah. yeah. Excellent, great. Well, I'll just uh, walk around a little bit more if that's okay. Take your time, sir. Excellent. No great. Take your time. Thank you very much. There we go, there is the old town of Tangier. So we have here a sign for the Casbah. Let's go this way. Mauritania, the ancient kingdom of Morocco. This is a very different Medina from the one in Tetuan. Definitely the uh, more touristy version, to say the least. So, everything is good, yes. It's very clean, not many people. Maybe there's a uh, other area with the fish market and the goat heads and all the crazy stuff. But it sure is beautiful. Bonjour. Très bon. Wow. Man, this is gorgeous. So this is where one of the Jason Bourne movies was filmed. So we are getting close to the Casbah, somewhere around here. These streets seem to be relatively new. Just look into the stone. But compared to the stone right here, 
obviously an old arch. And a nice square here. Let's see where we're at. This tour leaves the Casbah and from Bab Haha, heads in the direction of a lively path, which holds the unusual distinction of linking all five quarters of the Medina, from Amra Square, going across Aoud Aherdain Square, up to Souk Dakhel. So there is a lot more to see. I believe the Casbah is over there somewhere. Let's uh, look at the view. Whoa, there is the sea. And there is Spain. It's, yeah, it's very close. Spain right there. 14 kilometers, okay. It's very close in danger. Yeah. Easy swim, I'm sure. Yes. Easy to swim. Yes. <laughs> There's a new picture for I see. But now no no ferries to no, so Gibraltar now. Yes, yeah, okay. Yeah. Are you from South Canada? Yes, I'm American Canadian. Yeah, thank you, thank you. You're from Tangier? Yes. I am living here. This is my area. I see. Oh okay. Yes. In the Medina. Yes. Okay, great, great. So he was trying to offer me a guide around the uh, Medina here. He lives in the Medina, but uh, I said no thanks, and he was nice and respectful about it, at least didn't push it. Beautiful restaurant. And it looks like this is it. La Casba de Tangier. Musée, so it's a museum of Mediterranean culture. So no filming inside the museum, the Casbah is a museum, but I went inside and uh, there are a lot of ancient artifacts from various civilizations that have occupied this region. Including a amazing mosaic that I believe was from uh, Volubilis. All of the language, the uh, written uh, signs there were in Arabic, French, and Spanish. No English. But uh, some of the artifacts there were from Volubilis, the Roman city that I visited previously near Meknes. And there was a map on the wall, a massive map that I was trying to figure out what it was a map of, and then I realized that I think that it was a map of the world at the time that was just totally wrong. It showed the Mediterranean, but uh, all these islands that were way bigger than they should be. And then most of the African continent and Asia, but it was just all like really incorrect. It showed Western Europe along the Mediterranean as like a straight line almost going like this without Italy like sticking down like maybe they thought that uh, Italy was a island or something. The bakery making some bread. And a uh, dead end there, it looks like. <laughs> Grand Soko? Soko, this way. This way? Yeah. Excellent. Downstairs. I see. Thank you, sir. Shukran, shukran. So I think that the Grand Soko is the 
main square. So it might be this way. Definitely getting more lively. Salam. Oh no, thank you. I'm looking for the Grand Saco. This way? This way or this one? This way. Excellent. Pictures. Which kind of things? Uh, shop. Shop. All different kinds and of things. Comes, yeah. it's all I'm not doing any shopping. Okay. No. I, I'll just take a quick look. Okay. 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 Take pictures. Great. What's wrong? USA. Um, America. America. Oh, come, come to yeah. see. Is this man? Come to see. This is Boston America. From Boston. No. Oh, Sting. that's Sting. That's Sting. Sting. Bruce Springsteen. Yeah, yeah. You have Jackie Carcass. Lee Simpson. Yes. Yes. You have King Morocco. I found him. You have Ting DG. I and there's Sting, Sting, Sting the again. Yes, Sting, the family. The and that's Bruce Springsteen yes, again? Yes. Very cool. Wh which year was this? Is it yet? When? Uh, 1990 yeah. or something? Or? 2002, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, Sting is Amsters. And you said the King of Morocco yeah, is yes, here? The, uh, King of Morocco. His family. He had a family. He had brothers. He had my wife. He had, had children. Mohammed the Sixth. Yes, yes, okay. And he came to the shop? Yes, they came here? yes, yes. I shop, yeah. You yeah. have three floors, you carpet, you have a jewelry, you have everything here. Did Sting buy something? Yes. Sting, he bought yes. something? Yeah. Four carpets. Four carpets, yes. all right, excellent. It's magic carpets. I see. <laughs> and a mammoth. Yes, a elephant. Oh, it's just an elephant, okay. Yes, an elephant. Hey, it's small so big, like this. Oh, I see a shawl. Yeah, it's mammoth. Maybe me. Cool. How much is this? It's no expense. It's too expensive. Which, which kind? You have a few different uh... yeah, colors. So I bought two scarves for 100 dirham each or $11. I'm not sure if that is the uh, cheapest price or anything, but uh, very happy. They are beautiful. One is for uh, somebody else. All right, here is the... Uh, food market area, and the Grand Saco is apparently up here. There is a garden up here, a park, and then the Grand Saco will be to the left. Beautiful rainbow of colors, of fruit flavors. Here we are. Starting from the 9th April Square, Souk Dabara, and the gardens of the Mendubia, the visitor enters through Bab Fas to begin the external circuit which runs along the western wall of the Medina. Semicircular towers that date from the Portuguese era of the 17th century. So it looks like that is the Grand Saco there. Let's uh, go the scenic route. A little more of the market action. So I uh, meant to mention that uh, when I showed the Riyadh, he said 160 euros for the night for that room. But when I looked last night, the only reason that I was considering it was it was much cheaper. And I checked again just to confirm. For tonight, there are rooms there for 804 Moroccan Durham. That is about $90. So much cheaper. Maybe a different room is less expensive. But still, to be able to stay in a place like that for less than 100 bucks is just amazing. Okay, quite a bustling scene here.
So before I came to Tangier, this was my conception of the city. I guess that any previous videos I'd seen or pictures showed the older area. Not sure if that is part of the Medina or not, but uh, I was not aware of the super modern part. So this has been very enlightening to see both sides of the city. Now I could uh, continue walking back in there and get lost in the lanes again and show more of the uh, beautiful maze but my legs are tired and the further I walk that way the longer I will have to walk uh, back this way or catch a taxi and speaking of which I think that that is what I'm going to do is uh, there are some taxis up here catch a taxi back to my apartment hotel which is like a kilometer and a half away from here so if you come to Tangier you might want to stay in the Medina at the Palace Zahia or one of the other many hotels and Riyadhs in the old town in order to have easier access to this area but uh, staying out there was fine as well especially just for a couple of days you can do a, a day trip over here and explore around and then head back to the new Tangier. So that is what I'm going to do. Go take a break for the afternoon tomorrow. Some uh, very, very interesting plans in the works. The Cave of Hercules and Asilla. And I also want to go to the Roman ruins of, I think it's called Lixus, tomorrow or the next day or we'll see. So lots more coming from Morocco.